Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I actually even recorded any, any of this, but I believe last time we left off, we, uh, we entered, we went back in the past in the Mason system to talk to Drew Misham. Of course, this is uh, right after Phoenix lost his attorney's badge and well, we wanted to figure out more about these forgeries and I believe we just broke his psych lock and finding out that it was actually his daughter, Vera, who was a forger and not him. So, let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, the diary. I don't know how you knew, but you're right. The one who made this page was my daughter, Vera, not I. She's only 12. A genius, you might call her. Precar precarious little girl outshining her father. Precarious, whatever. There's been a lot of that going around recently. I let her play in the studio, and she watched me. She taught herself in that way. Drafting tools and analytical devices I bought when they became a necessity. A necessity. There are my little girl's playthings now. Ah, uh, do I detect a bit of fatherly pride here? So, Vera was the one who made this page. Would she know who the client was then? Actually, the client came once. He... here. To the studio. What? Why didn't you say so sooner? But their face was covered, and they did not want to talk to me. So, they talked to your daughter? I will speak only with the artist, the client told me. That little girl might know something about him, then. And we definitely gotta figure out more about Vera. Where the hell is she? Okay, what do I do now? Maybe I should talk to her father a little bit more. Or is it time to turn my attention to Vera? Uh, now let's talk to her now. I think we're done with Drew right at the moment. Mr. Misham, I have a request. Let me guess. You like to speak with my daughter. Can I? My daughter has never been one to talk to strangers. She's quite shy. Extremely so, actually. With only one exception. Which was... Oddly enough, it was that client. I left the studio while they talked. I returned when they had finished. And she was laughing. It's the first time I've seen anything of the sort. Please, let me speak with her. Alright. Oh boy, I wonder how much success we're gonna get out of here. Uh oh. This could be tough. Okay, um... I guess we can try talking to her, I don't... <laughs> Maybe we get something out of it? Who knows. The Vera, was it? I, uh... Would you like to have a friendly chat? Um, I'm Phoenix Wright, ex-lawyer, and pianist. I'm still looking for the keys that say, Do, Re, Mi. Can't find them anywhere. I'm no good at this. I need something to get through this girl. Okay, well, I'm sure it's not gonna work, but I might as well. If you are, was it? I... Okay, this is not gonna work either. Okay. So those won't work. Um... So we need something, maybe around the studio will help us talk, so let's just examine some stuff, like, what's here? No clothes here, no, wasn't there? I thought, oh, what's this, then? Ah, going home by any chance? Uh, no, I was just checking out the door. Not really, but whatever. Oh, good thing I'm far too stubborn to take hints like that. <laughs> uh, ooh, wait, it's that red envelope again. I don't know. Maybe I'll just slide on over here for a closer look. Hmm. Well, there's a couple things here. There's like that red letter, and then also that stamp, I guess. That that had that poison on it, too. Let's check this first, though. What's this red envelope? Uh, don't touch that! That's, um, it's quite important. The painter's face just changed hues. I guess I better behave. Well, it's definitely just grab it. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Oh, what about the, um... This, uh, wasn't a stamp, right? That's an awfully small frame. What's that inside of it? A stamp? Oh, please don't touch that. I'll get in trouble. That stamp belongs to Vera, you see. She always puts it somewhere she can see it. That's Hacken Valant. The grammar eyes, isn't it? The post office issued that commemorative stamp last year. The grammar eyes were at the height of their popularity. Not anymore. Now that one of them has vanished off the face of the earth. Yep. Be all over there. 
Vera went to see one of their shows when she was quite small. She's been a dedicated fan ever since. She watched them every time they came on TV. Until the end. I see. That stamp's quite hard to come by, I hear. I still wonder how she got her hands on it. Hmm. Well... Hmm. This might be a little thing here to help actually help us talk with Vera, then. Because we actually have a Gremorite with us. We're, we're taking care of Trucy, but you know, hey. Um, but let's look at this, uh, stamp real quick. Remember a stamp showing the troop Gremorite. Touch details of them. So yeah, there, there they are, um, Zack, Volant, and, uh, well, we don't even know who this girl is. We still haven't figured that one out. I'm sure we will, sooner or later. But in any case, uh, yeah, I think we actually have something to actually, uh, go ahead and talk to Vera now. So let's go ahead and present this to her, maybe have some small talk with that. And then there's this. My stamp! Hey! She spoke! She can talk! Yeah, so, the stamp. How can I keep her talking? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, can I have it, please? No, no, no. Well, uh, well yeah, the, they're great magicians, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, she'll probably talk about that. Isn't group, uh, Troop Gramarai amazing? Ah, uh, hmm, yes? Oh, I especially like those two, Zack and Valant. I mean, they're, uh, they're just so magical. Aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah, whenever I go to one of their shows, I'm like, whoa, magic, you know? Me too, me too, I love them, they're so cool. It's like, uh, like magic, yeah. Alright, she's talking. Not saying much, but to start, I went and saw them father the other day. The opening ceremony at the Gremoron Mus Museum of Magic. The Gremoron Museum? They have one of those? This makes sense now they have their own commander stamp. So, have you been to one of their shows? Just once when I was little, with Father. The Gremorize on stage? It was like a dream. Disappearing, reappearing, cutting apart, putting back together. They do it all! Yeah, yeah, maybe you can keep telling me stuff like this. You know, about Zack and Volant, maybe? Oh, oh sure! Alright, oh, I'd be asking before she changes her mind. Alright, so that definitely, um, got her talking. I mean, you pick an interest of somebody, pick an interest that somebody is actually, well, interested in, and start talking about it. And we'll just open up. No matter, doesn't even matter if they're shy or not. I mean, look, considering myself, I'm a really shy guy. Um, you know, if no one, if I, if I don't know someone, it's kind of hard for me to actually start talking to them. But once I kind of break the ice there, I just, boom. It's like you wouldn't even know who it was me. But in any case, let's like go ahead and talk to Vera here. I don't go outside much. I like to paint in here. Why don't you like the outside? There's bad people out there. Fortunately, that's true. Well, true, but there's lots of good people, too. That's also true. Actually, I should tell you, she was almost kidnapped once. But ki kidnapped Since then, she's been, uh... Well, you can see for yourself. She refuses to leave the house. I see. Wait, but that doesn't make any sense. She said she went to the Gremorai Museum. With you, in fact. Um, yes, actually, she was quite insistent on it, much to my surprise. That was the first and last time she expressed such a desire to me. That person gave me a good luck charm. A good luck charm? From when I was absolutely had to go outside. Yes, apparently she received something, uh, a gift. From that client, actually. She won't tell me what it was. I think I need to know what that was now. Father, I told you to keep that a secret! From that client, huh? This I have to hear about. It's, we just have to, and we'll get, get to that eventually. So, your father tells me you're good at painting all sorts of things. I really like painting a lot. Father's always very happy when I paint them exactly the same. So... You did this, too. Oh, yes! That was my first job! Your first... All I used to do was paint the same thing I saw. But this was totally different. The pen slips in the way the writer held the pen and the pressure on the nib. I had to use a microscope and analyze it on the computer. She seems happy. Odd. Her work was the last nail in the Gremorite coffin. And to my career, well, 
Phoenix's career. I guess no one told her. Yeah, she's just too innocent to tell her, Hey, you know, that work all you were doing, it's illegal. Come on now, you can't do that. Well, you could, but you'll be asked for it. They're the best in the world! Huh? Oh, you mean Troop Gramarai? Of course. My father gave it to me. Your father? But I asked him about it. He didn't know how you got it. Oh! Oh, um, I guess I just took it. Yeah. Took it? Father got a letter from that person. That person? You mean the letter was from a client? Oh, we talked about the Gramarai's forever that day. I'm sure that's why I was seen. I I was I was sent that stamp. I didn't want to just send it back, so I took it. They're a, you're, they're a sneaky one, this client. So they were trying to get on her good side. It definitely seems like it's so it's kind of like a bribe. Okay, so let's finally let's see if we can actually get anything out of this client. So you met the person that asked you to do this job, and you talked with them. What's this about a good luck charm you received? I can't talk about it. Eh? If I do, it won't work anymore. That's what I was told. Yeah, but I really, really have to know. Ah, damn it. Oh, you all saw this coming, right? Shouldn't be too bad. It's only two, though. Right. Time to do some psych unlocking. Alright, so let's go ahead and present the Makatama and get this thing started. Alrighty, so let's hopefully we can learn a, bit, learn a bit more about this good luck charm and the client here. You seem to trust this client quite a lot, in fact. Because they gave you the stamp? No, that's not why. They listen to me, to my problem. The problem? The case from sight all the time? Don't go outside if you don't want to. That's what they. Uh, if they don't want to. That's what they told me. But. When I absolutely have to go out, all I have to do was use a good luck charm. A good luck charm that your client gave you? I think I know what your client might have given you, actually. Is this your good luck charm? And, well, hmm. The thing is, we always saw Viera doing her nails in the present, but we also saw freaking Gavin do his, uh, Kristoff. Supposedly he had nail, or uh, do a nail polish too, so kind of makes me think, hmm. Even saying that Kristoff, I think there's a connect connection here, and I think you guys might have already seen this one a little bit coming, but hey. So I think it's his nail polish. This was what they gave you, wasn't it? Ah! Uh, the same bottle's over there on your desk. Your good luck charm, right? Boom. I heard once cosmetics were once thought to ward off evil. This is a magic bottle. It has the power. Ah, of course it does. I'll just refrain from commenting any more on that one. I think I know who gave you that bottle, actually. The one who asked you to do this job. Was it this <coughs> client? Excuse me there. See, like I said, Kristoff had a nail polish in his cell, and since we already established the nail polish was a good luck charm, we can pretty much assume that it was Kristoff who was the client. And I believe you guys, like I mentioned earlier, it was kind of easy to kind of make that connection. Some other, you know, regarding some other ca um, points in this case, so I didn't want to say anything, but you know, hey. And of course, there was also nail polish on the on the desk that had uh, the envelope and the commemorative stamp, so it kind of all fits together, right? This man is a friend of mine. You know him? His name is Christoph Gavin. He's a lawyer, actually. I... I promised... I promised not to tell! Well, it's too late now. We know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about um, the client, which we assume is Christoph. I'm sorry, I can't talk about the client. I promised... And if I break my promise, this spell won't work! I don't need a name anymore. I've got my answer. You're pretty confident in this charm, then. I think they might be the devil. Huh? Or maybe an angel. What do you mean? I saw it. Or I think I saw it when they gave me this. 
I saw the devil's face. Are you saying the client's face looked like the devil's? No, the client was gentle, with a gentle smile. So, where'd you see this devil then? He was so quick, I don't remember well. But that's when I knew that person wasn't like other people. That's why I believe in my good luck charm. I'm not sure what this devil she saw was, but it's pretty clear that Kristoff Gaven was her, has her charmed. Well, I think that's all. I'll be leaving now. I'm so sorry for what happened. If you want to apologize, try my client, Zachary Marai. Um, did I do something bad? What makes you think that? Your eyes. They're sad. Very sad. I'll put on a smile next time I come, I promise. I hope to see you smile then too, Vera. Oh, okay. Take care. Thinking back to my first encounter with the young forger, I witnessed something of vital importance that day. Of course, by the time I realized it, it was already too late. And I wonder what he means by that. Perhaps we'll figure it out soon, or maybe next time. But in any case, well, we already finished um, the past Juice Studio, so that means we're actually we're actually getting there. Um, but the past is almost actually all completed, and we already visited these two these two uh, areas in the present, but we still don't have too much information to finish them off. So we're actually really close in uh, finishing the past here, and um, next time. I say, why don't we actually try finishing up the past and go to the uh, detention center, see what the hell's going on there. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. I'll see you guys later.